what's up guys we're here welcome back to the channel we just got off of our 24 hour live stream for diablo 4 and it was absolutely fantastic so i am beat but we are going to go over my top five things because i kept getting asked inside the chat what are some big tips for brand new players because there was a lot of people that came out and they could not play right at launch but they were playing like a half a day later or that night or you know the very next morning and they wanted some really good tips to get them jump started into diablo 4. so here are my five top tips that i could give you before you reach level 50 in diablo 4. let's get it so guys when it comes to tips in diablo 4 i know the game just launched but we have had this for two two months and we really have a lot of stuff that you can guys can go over before you hit level 50. now once you get to 50 that's really after you hit uh, you finish the campaign and you're getting ready to go into world tier three okay world tier three is the next big step that you want to take but i have some major tips that are going to help you get really strong and prepare you not only for world tier three but for you know subsequent characters that you're going to make so the biggest one that i want to preface on so much is to get your renown okay get your renown early okay once you finish the campaign i finished it about level 38 39 ish so we finished it rather early in groups but i do want to let you know that once you get your horse or your mount right around level 35 is when i got it 33 maybe i can't remember exactly that's when you really need to go off and hit up all of your altars of lilith start doing your strongholds and get these bonus points okay now you can only unlock the first three stages before you get to world tier three the other ones are locked behind world tier three so you cannot do those but i do want to preface that these bonuses are very very strong it's an extra 10 skill points because you get two from each of the zones and then you're not only going to get that you're going to get a lot of stat upgrades if you get all of your altars this is very very crucial in power scaling your character before you go to the very next world difficulty and more importantly before you fight the capstone dungeon which we did pretty early at level 40 and it was actually pretty tough we had to gain five more levels before we could actually beat it so i do want to say there is a beautiful um resource down in the in the description for uh diablo4.io or was it d4planner.io you can use the map and it will show you all the altars of lilith and everything to help kind of boost your renown because you're going to get it from getting altars you're going to get it from exploring the map doing the dungeons as well as doing strongholds and just visiting cities okay so getting renown is very very important early on or at least after you finish the story i would say if you're doing it before finishing the story don't worry about it if you're finding them along the way then by all means but don't do it until after the story okay now into tip number two guys this goes right after your renown and that is finding all of your waypoints I do want to tell you that this map is absolutely gigantic in comparison to world tier or excuse me to diablo 3 and these waypoints really really do help you out as you guys know you can instantly travel to these uh, it's very fairly, fairly easy once you discover them but it does make getting around so much easier even with the horse the horse is a whole nother level i'm so happy that blizzard put this into the game but having all of the waypoints unlocked just makes getting around the map so much easier for world events getting around for tree of whispers getting around for um hell tides and then getting around for getting all of your aspects in diablo 4. unlocking these waypoints can be a really good idea one thing that you can do that we did is we in groups we kind of were like we're moving around and doing things and why people were messing with stuff we were unlocking them you tp tp back in a group and it just made it really really easy to get around so i do recommend doing this really really early as you're going through the story like go through the story as you're moving through just grab these along the way it'll make your life uh, way easier okay into tip number three that goes right off of your waypoints guys and that is your dungeons okay there is so many dungeons in the game with all of your aspects okay a lot of these aspects are going to be super powerful for your character for example we played in groups we had a rogue on our team once you get through kovashad and you go into act two which is was it skosglin right up here in this top right one this particular dungeon here is where you get twisted blades 
once our rogue got twisted blades the rogue pretty much carried us all the way through the rest of the game so there is some uh you know aspects and dungeons that you need to do for some of these classes that just make you super strong and super op especially early in diablo 4. like this one right here each time chain lightning bounces off of you gain four mana as a sorcerer this is insane in act one with chain lightning being one of the strongest leveling skills in the game for sorcerer having something like this just allows you to infinitely spam it so go through get look up use the same map that's down in the description guys and look up key dungeons that have aspects that pertain to your build and what you are playing okay this is going to help power scale you even stronger and make it even easier to get through the story so make sure you go through and dungeon farm like crazy not only that it's going to give you a lot of exp so make sure to do it okay going into tip number four guys i want to tell you right now we're going to have a whole separate video on exactly how the numbers work and why this technique is so powerful especially for subsequent characters but you want to be doing tree of whispers soon as you finish the story do nothing else but tree of whispers until you get strong enough to take down the capstone dungeon uh, which is in Kovashad, the main one it's in this city right here you go up into this corner and you'll be able to fight it but do these we have ours unlocked for our next one for fallen temple to get through and do go that way we can go to world tier four okay tree of whispers is a very very strong tool not only do you get it as soon as you finish the story but you're going to be able to farm dungeons get aspects get tons of exp turn these in to get gear as well as resources i mean the list goes on so if you guys are low level coming out of finishing the campaign i would tell you to go do tree of whispers no matter what this is all we have been doing on top of doing uh hell tides okay when hell tides come in for the hour we do hell tides and then we swap off and we do um tree of whisper farming that is it that is all we have been doing okay i will have a more in-depth guide about those but trust me do these before you hit level 50 and into our final our fifth and final tip guys this one i really actually struggled with but then once i started doing it and just started breaking down the numbers during the live stream it just made so much sense and i felt so much stronger is upgrade your gear okay you want to upgrade your gear in diablo 4. now i know myself as well as other creators have told you not to um you know put powers necessarily into certain weapons but even when you have the yellows and you're leveling up it doesn't take a whole lot of resources to upgrade these 14 for two-handed we come down and do what is this another two-handed 14 okay it doesn't take a lot here's a one-handed legendary axe that's legendary it's seven you upgrade it and then it's seven and four respectively of silver ore and iron chunks you find this stuff all over the place and on top of that if you are salvaging your items that you find that you don't need instead of selling them you're going to get a lot of resources i mean i have 814 of these iron chunks and this is after i've been upgrading multiple items so people undervalue the power increase when you upgrade an item i know that it only says that it's going to have plus 11 damage per second 1.6 1.1 0.7 added on but those add up when you put it to number three look at this these resources same thing doesn't cost a whole lot barely costs any money now we're at level three now we're going to go to four and now this weapon is actually super strong okay this is the equivalent to me of upgrading something in diablo 3 putting like almost like augmenting it in a way i know that's a big stretch don't destroy me in the comments guys but you know this is a way to upgrade these things since we can't augment right so you want to use this and use that mentality like if i can't augment then i need to upgrade these it doesn't cost a lot of resources don't upgrade them all the way i would probably say go no higher than two initially so that way you're only spending the first couple resources right you're only spending the first two you know you're doing iron chunks and then you're doing silver ore that way you're not spending a lot of materials and you get a really good boost it adds up when you put it on every single item that you have okay guys make sure to, to just level up your gear and once you get into 50 like i am on 50 what 3 51 i think i'm 51 and i've upgraded all of these things and then i have found this weapon right here isn't going anywhere anytime soon so i could probably upgrade this again Not now but when you get to your super rail frat or super rail super rare fragments 
definitely just hold on to these. I would probably never go higher than this until I'm really starting to farm and I'm getting a lot of materials. But this is a very, very strong way to power level your character before you get to 50, which will help immensely with the capstone dungeon, guys. So those are my five tips for you guys in Diablo 4 that I wish I knew before we kind of figured it out along the way. I wish I kind of wouldn't realize a lot of these things that just kind of map things out a little bit better, which would have made my overall gameplay experience a little bit smoother and a little bit easier um, up into the capstone dungeon, guys. So like the video if you did find this helpful and comment down below what do you guys think and how has your diablo 4 experience been since launch and make sure to sub if you guys are new we're trying to get to 10,000 before 6 6 of diablo 4 so as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace